Hey what's going on guys and welcome to another Minecraft mod showcase where today I'm taking a look at the Aquatic Abyss mod. This mod is brand new and comes to you from the creator of Mutant Creatures so you know already it's going to be brilliant. Sheep get off my chests! So seeing as Mutant Creatures did so well in Crazy Craft uh, Season 1, would you like to see this in Season 2? Because this mod is absolutely amazing, it adds some really cool features to the oceans. And if you do, let's hit that thumbs up, let's try and hit 5,000 likes. So I'm going to crack on with the mod. And I made this little pier where I've got all my fishies. And in here has tons, as you can see, tons of little spawn eggs for the fish. And the serpent... Um, which is kind of like the Loch Ness Monster I will save for last because he is absolutely incredible. Some of these mobs will drop these spikes. Um, so a short billfish spike and a long billfish spike. So I think the, um, the sailfish drops the short one and the swordfish drops the long one. And then you can make yourself a spike sword. For some reason in this version of the mod the spike sword doesn't have any damage. Um, but it should do 7 damage or 7 half hearts. So it's pretty strong, about the same as diamond. And there's also seaweed which you can see in the water everywhere over there and why am I struggling to swim chickens my feathers are wet get me out of here so you can also craft yourself some goggles which are crafted with five pieces of string a sugar cane iron ingot and two pieces of glass and once you're wearing this you will be able to see underwater and it makes life a hell of a lot easier you can see there's a little fishy over here and a squid Another fish there, another fish over there. All kinds of different variations of the fish too. And look how lovely they are when they swim. Makes the ocean so beautiful. As you see, there's this giant load of like brown clay or black clay. I, I don't know why the black clay looks brown. But in this clay, there will be a series of um, ores. So the probability of getting coal ore is 4, iron is 5, lapis is 8, gold is 10, and diamond is 100. So you've got to break through these huge piles of crap really um, I'm guessing maybe coral reef looking type things and once you've broken in hopefully you'll find the good loot this they can be completely <laughs> empty which is looking like this one might be which would really suck come on you can't do this to me why do you do this absolutely nothing all right you're gonna have to take my word for it there's some more in the ocean oh wait it gets big hang on nine Nine! Alright, let's go into the ocean. There's another one out here. They spawn very commonly, so the chances of you find something pretty cool is kind of high, although diamonds incredibly rare. Sometimes they just poke out. You don't even need to dig in for them. But once you have this scuba mask, it makes life a lot easier, and you can just stay down the whole time because the scuba mask um, gives you water breathing infinitely, which is pretty cool. Oh, there you see a gold one. So that's one in ten. That one's pretty cool. Let's see what we go over here. Nothing? Come on, you're skimping out on me, you big pi piles of poop. Nothing. Alright, so I'm going to spawn in some of these fish. So first the normal fish will just drop you fish. Um, and when they die, they have a really cool animation, so that one just drops fish. And then we have the clownfish. Nemo's here. Fantastic. Gotta love a bit of Nemo. And they come in different shapes and sizes. Um, obviously the clownfish only come really with one look. Um, what happened to me? Um... Nemo? <laughs> Nemo, what did you do? I got inked. He inked me! Alright, so as you can see, there's little ones and big ones, and they all drop clownfish. So, you, once you've got yourself a clownfish, you have yourself a clownfish. This mod is brand new, so I'm hoping that you'll be able to maybe cook the clownfish, or possibly even place it down and get yourself a little aquarium, which would be cool. Next, we have the seahorses, and they are so cool. I actually got a little rare one there, a pink one. Usually they come in green, so I'll spawn in a bunch just to show you all the colors they come in. So you got mostly they come in green, different shades of green, but you do sometimes get lucky, get a purple one or a blue one. Is there a blue one around? Um, for some reason they decide to climb. Maybe they think they are actually horses, um, but they will die on land, so I'm not really sure why they're doing that. But you can ride these guys, so if I right click on this purple one with an empty hand, I should be able to sit on him and just like a horse he'll throw you off until he decides bugger it I'll let this guy sit on me and he becomes your pet so come on sir don't throw me off again please please I just want to be friends come on 
Where's he gone? They're so bloody fast too. Oh no, I've lost him. Oh, where's he? There he is. Come on. Be my friend. Love me. Please <laughs> love me. Bloody seahorse, come back. Get Look how fast they are. It's worth doing though. Once you've tamed it, they're incredibly fast. And ah, I've tamed him. Excellent. And once you, the direction you look in is the way they'll swim. So if I look up, you'll swim. If I look down, you'll go down. So as you can see, it's a great way to travel through the oceans nice and fast. And you can park them on land if you do wish for them to die. So I wouldn't recommend it. Come on, sir. Get out of the water. No? Not fancying it. i got to look up. 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 No. Nope. All right, you can live. I'll let you live. He's really pretty, though. And fun fact, male seahorses hold the eggs of their babies. Um, for the wife, they have like this little pouch and they put the eggs in there. So the dads are the mums. Very odd. Um, what else have, What else have we got? We've done seahorses. So next we have the butterfly fish back in my little pond. And these guys come in all different colours. They're really cool. And once you kill these, you will get... Where's my sword gone? Once you kill it, you'll get this raw fish. A raw butterfly fish. Give me this, please. And once you have this, you can use it and cook it to make yourself cooked butterfly fish. So a raw one will give you one bar hunger, and a cooked one will give you three. Um, for some reason, I keep getting like um, lighting glitches whenever I go into like air or from air into the ocean with this snorkel or the goggles on, which is a little bit odd. I'm sure it'll be fixed very soon. Next, we have mast butterfly fish. There's a variation of these fishes. So these ones have some stripes and some nice, pretty blue eyes. And then we have the raccoon, which kind of looks like a raccoon. He's got like stripes on his face. I've never actually seen a raccoon in my life. I don't think Britain has raccoons, but I would like to meet one. They seem like they'd be friendly creatures. Um, so next we have the spot fin. So I'm guessing this one has a spot on his fin. Lovely. Very handsome, sir. And then we have the banner fish. So the banner fish has a nice little spike that comes out of him. Is the banner fish the one in Nemo that has that scar on his face? Because he has that little like um, Mohican thing. But he's a very cool looking fella, and they also come in different sizes. Very handsome. Then we have the fairy bas baslet. A baslet. Um, so this one's very colourful. Absolutely handsome as hell. And they come in different sizes too, all of them do. Um, so next we have the, what is this one? A black cap baslet. So that one's pretty similar, but has like a black cap. And then we have the swordfish and the sailfish. So these guys are both aggressive to normal fish. So the swordfish should attack the fish and pretty much kill all of them. Um, maybe he doesn't attack like the pretty fish, but he definitely does attack these fish. Not those fish. Where is it? The fish. There it is. The ordinary fish. There we go. There we go. Oh, he, he loves it. Dinner is served, sir. So these fish actually come in different colors too. Very interesting. So as you can see, he chases him around and he's just really pissed off at those fish. For I, I'm not really sure why. Did he hit me? What's wrong with you? Um, so yeah, he doesn't seem to be annoyed by any of the other fish, but these fish must have done something to him. Because he's not a happy bunny. So next we have the sailfish and he's kind of like a smaller swordfish and they don't like each other. So they will fight. Oh, God damn it, Nemo. <laughs> and I think the swordfish won because the swordfish has 36 health and the sailfish has if I can see him 30 health and they'll be aggressive to you too if you hit them and once you kill them they'll give you those spikes so if I kill this swordfish hopefully it'll give me some spikes nothing all right let's get another one in and kill them so it takes take a bit of kidding, killing and they actually do like two hearts of damage if you have no armor on so they're pretty strong as you can see on the floor over here where they've been fighting there are some spikes. So these are going to be small ones because the sailfish died over here, I'm pretty sure. Yep. And the swordfish will drop the big ones. And to craft that sword, you're going to need two long ones and a stick. But you can use the little ones to craft a long one. So three short ones will make a long one. As you can see in this chest, once you've killed all of those fish, you can, in fact, get yourselves those fish, like to keep in your inventory. And just to keep, I guess, until the mod gets updated because they don't really have a use at the moment. Apart from look really kind of pretty. Um, next, ah, it's finally here. The moment you've all been waiting for, the Loch Ness Monster. At least that's what I'm gonna call him. He's a serpent. So this guy is, he's kind of aggressive to everything. Um, is he coming, sir? 
Want to be spawned? There he is! Oh my gosh! What a snaky monster! Look at him! Isn't he beautiful? He kind of—he's kind of scary looking, but he's beautiful all at the same time. And I, Buzz texted me this morning and was like, "Dude, I gassed this." And he's like, I "I'll fight him for you." Um, because I was a little bit worried about showcasing this because he's actually really aggressive to you. And a lot of other, like, if a cow comes in, I'll just show you. If a cow comes in the water, he'll pretty much annihilate it. And he's not very friendly to mobs like that. Hopefully you'll smell it. Can you smell it? All right, there's a cow that should float up. Come on, Nessie. Come on, that poor bloody cow. <laughs> Doesn't know what's coming. Come on, Nessie. You know you want to. Do it. Do it. Come on, don't bottle it, Nessie. Don't bottle it. He's going. Nope. What's wrong with you? Come on. Kill the cow. Oh, there he goes. Nope, definitely not. <laughs> he's not hungry. Maybe he's eaten too much. Maybe he has eaten too much. Okay, no, he killed him. Oh, he hit him. He hit him for sure. All right, I'm just going to put like a ton of them. Just to guarantee that he does. Um, Have a little bit of dinner. Come on, Nessie. I'm going to put several in here. Bugger it. One of them's got to be hungry. <laughs> Come on, boys. Get him, coach. Whoa! All right, he hit me with his tail. And what the heck is that fish doing? What? He's not a happy fish. Okay, there you see. They're all going from... They're diving out of the water. And then they'll dive back in. And <laughs> they're just really cool. So it reminds me of Lake Placid, the movie. I don't know if any of you have seen it. It's a really crappy dinosaur movie. Um, not well, It's like a crocodile. And this woman feeds cows to this um, huge crocodile. And she just literally has a peel like that. And she just pushes cows into the water. And this crocodile just eats them whole. Very much reminds me of that. Once these serpents have eaten enough, though, they won't be aggressive. So these seem to be um, pretty chill now. Where, where have a lot of them gone? Um, it would appear some have disappeared. So I'm going to put some in the ocean. And like I said, Buzz did text me and say... He wants to fight this guy, so good luck, Buzz. Um, it looks like he ran away from Buzz. Excellent fight, Buzz. You did very well. GG. What oh, man. All right, so that's pretty much it for this mod. If you want to see this in Crazy Craft, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Let's try and hit 5,000 likes. And if you want to download it and play it for yourself, link will be in the description. And as always, thanks for watching. It's calling